um, happy slip is supposed to be half slip. My mom would always want us to wear half half slips under skirts or dresses because she was scared, you know, transparency and stuff like that. So you want to wear a half slip. But the way she would say it is happy slip. Be sure to wear your happy slip, <laughs> right? And to me, that's normal. It was spelled happy slip in my mind. Go to school and one day I forgot to wear it. So I'm like, oh, I forgot to wear my happy slip, right? And then my classmates were like, what, do you have a sad slip too or something? <laughs> what are they talking about? It's normal, it's called happy slip, right? So when thinking on online screen name, I wanted something memorable, a funny memory from the past. So um, happy slip, you know, in that sense. But then also I want people to slip into happiness when they watch the video. <laughs> But like I said, I didn't think people would actually call me Happy Slip, Happy Slip, oh, you know. I didn't think that it would um, turn into that. But anyway, so if you really find out, dig deep into the past, people usually would say, you should do stand-up, you know, and I, I didn't really think that stand-up comedy clubs is where I would belong. But when you think about the origins of what I do, I was actually doing stand-up when I was probably, I was doing imitations when I was probably starting at five years old. And then um, by seven or eight, at family potlucks and stuff, my mom would say, come on, everybody's bored. <laughs> Please, imitate me. <laughs> imitate me. <laughs> and you know, because everyone's, you know, they're, they, they finish stuffing themselves. They're all sitting around, come on, where's the entertainment? Come on, the kids. Play piano or something. The last resort, please. Imitate me. Imitate me. So really, you're gonna have to blame her for starting all this stuff. So it was stand up, and I didn't even know it. It was imitation on demand, and I didn't even know, it, right? But if you ask my dad what he, you know, would think about me when I was younger, and this is what his reply was. He's like, "Well, we thought you were slow." <laughs> I'll let you see my eyes, but he said, we thought you're retarded. <laughs> because you don't say anything. <laughs> you just look and observe. <laughs> Little did we know, you're observing everyone to mimic them later. <laughs> the disaster. <laughs> story behind how I started. Now, if you ask, well, you know, did I dream of like, oh, let me, you know, do acting and stuff like that. But that wouldn't be accepted by a Filipino family, now would it? Come on. What's everybody into? Nursing, right? Come on. Yeah. Are you into nurses? Yes. Everyone in my family, nurses. All the aunties, nurses. So I asked my mom, what do you want me to be? Mom, nurse. Be a nurse. But uh, my dad would always have strange ideas of what I should do. I want you to join the FBI. <laughs> or you can be orthodontist. That's the other thing. But I always go back to nurse, nursing, nursing. All the aunties, even the uncles are nurses. The middle generation, all nurses. So I thought, why don't I join that nurse for a course, you know? It should be a nurse too. Besides, you can decide if you're gonna work one day a month or you know, or hey, seven days a week you can do that, right? So I thought, I can do that, and I'm trying to make people smile and laugh before I give them a shot, you know? <laughs> do this, right? But it serves as a good backup. Besides, you want to be an actor, you got to eat somehow. So you got to have a backup career to allow you to eat. So that was mine, nursing. So anyway, but that brings me to saying that lots of you screamed about nursing, so you relate to that. That's not just a Filipino thing, though, I think. So let me hear how many of you that are in the medical profession in general. Can you? Uh, 